there there are a lot of things on my mind this morning lots of things in the news to comment on of course we had the news cycle yesterday dominated by the secretary of state mike pompeo's visit you have the JSC Investor Conference going on at the Pegasus Hotel. It started on Tuesday evening. Uh -huh. uh, yesterday, I was there for much of the day and continues today. Hundreds of investors from around the world and the region are in town for that event. Lots of information being shared. But my mind is still on Port Royal. I'm coming right back to that Port Royal development. I even dreamed about it last night. <laughs> Really? Probably because I you know, fell asleep composing my thoughts, and so it was on my mind. But if you recall, listeners, nearly 2,000 visitors visited Port Royal and Kingston on Monday on board the ship, the Mariella. And like I told you on Monday, I really wanted to go, wanted to go, you know, fast and mm -hmm. see what the place looks like. But I said, Hold on, Kalila, you know, big belly, just sit down and relax for a bit. It's not going anywhere. You'll get another opportunity to see what the place looks like. Uh -huh. But on TV, it looks very impressive. It does, it does. And I'm very happy about that. Even though this is, it's said to be not entirely finished, and the visit on Monday is also said to be kind of like a test run. So uh -huh. they're not starting regular, regular visits just yet. Having seen other cruise ports in the region, I can tell you Port Royal has something very special, and that's heritage, because many of the other ports are rather generic. You come off the ship, you have shops, you have Diamonds International, you, have, uh, you get some food. There's not really much to see. You have pretty much the same souvenirs and trinkets at every location mostly made in china the only difference might be the colors or the country flag but it's the uh. same shape you can tell they were made at the same place and it's the same thing at every destination they have what you call tourist villages and they all look pretty much the same if you're not going on tour but they just stay on the ship at many of these destinations and even at falmas and ocho rios which i've had the opportunity to see those ports having been on passport to paradise and been granted access they're nice places uh -huh. they're well very well kept there's entertainment but there's nothing particularly special compared to other destinations you're still gonna see the same thing in cayman you're still gonna see the same thing when you stop in cancun or um barbados or wherever else uh -huh. in the caribbean you get very similar experiences Port Royal now, that's a place as a tourist, me as a tourist, who's just stopped at several other countries, I want to come off the ship to see and experience Port Royal. Yeah, because no pun intended, it's one of those places that has its foundation in its historical past. Exactly, exactly. It's the famed home of pirates, once known as the richest city in the world sunken by an earthquake just the story alone draws you in and if one even thinks back to the success of pirates of the caribbean franchise so the only uh -huh. only wish port royal as a cruise destination had opened when pirates of the caribbean franchise was hot that timing would have been perfect as an attraction and a destination because so much can be done with the concept of a port royal of port royal this is the place where these events actually happened. I, I think of it could be almost like a theme park. You take pictures with pirates, you go diving in the sunken city, you discover treasure. That's a whole lot of fun for the family, for yourself, for, for anybody who wants to visit the destination. And then I, I'm thinking about what it means for Port Royal, for Kingston, and for the entire country because you have what is known as traditionally a fishing community being transformed into a tourism community yeah. and tourism is likely to overtake fishing as the primary means of income for the residents of Port Royal what that means is jobs what it means is less migration so the younger people who grew up in Port Royal who typically would come to Kingston or find jobs elsewhere, 
would have a reason to stay because there are jobs there now outside of fishing. Not everybody wants to be a fisherman or a fisherwoman. It means the standard of living will change for the people of Port Royal. Think of what it will do to property values as well. <laughs> your little piece of land that you inherited from your mom and your grandma and your grandfather and so on. How much more that property will be worth now that you have this big development in Port Royal. And then think as well of what it means for the larger Kingston metropolitan area. Because the tourists who are docking in Port Royal aren't all going to be staying there. Some of them are going to go, many of them are going to go on tours across the Kingston metropolitan area. So for us, ABCA, we can expect to see many more bus tours passing through town. We can expect to see a lot more activity in destinations here in town, such as you have popular ones like Trench Town is very popular, uh, the Bob Marley Museum, Devon House. So think crowds as well. It's going to be crowded. So some investment will need to be made in developing those attractions, partly to manage crowds, expanding some attractions, and creating new attractions mm -hmm. in Kingston, which means more jobs, again, more employment for the people of this city. Think about things like regular cultural shows at Emancipation Park, mm -hmm. because you would have seen where the tourists who came on Monday were fetid at Emancipation Park. I took my parents there over the Christmas holiday. There was no event going on. They just wanted to go and see Emancipation Park. They were very, very impressed, very happy with it, taking pictures of all the, all the, all the statues and all the monuments that were there. Yeah. They were impressed by how well the grounds were kept. And so imagine regular cultural events in the day, that's jobs for Edna Manley students and other people in the creative and cultural industries of which Kingston has very many. You see, sometimes you have these major developments and big business enters the space and the so-called small man and woman are shut out. Yeah, so I was particularly pleased to see the vendors speaking about how they were able to sell off their wares. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the challenge for the stewards of the tourism enterprise in Jamaica to ensure that in a couple of years' time we don't have it where it is that the small man and woman are shut out and that ability for them to excel in terms of doing good business is maintained and sustained for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll like we see investments in other attractions here in town as well because uh -huh. what we have, depending on, on how often and how large the number of tourists are coming to this area, the ones that exist won't be enough. And True. so we'll like we see it's an opportunity for investment in other attractions, other places, other things for tourists It to makes do. you wonder why it took so long to right? get off the ground. Right? So there's a whole new world of possibility to be unlocked from this development. And I'm here for it. I'm happy. That's what's on my mind.